I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. I'm utterly under control. With all of this coronavirus information out there, I thought it would be a really great idea just to take a moment or two and give you some ideas on how to stay focused, uh, how to stay concentrated, and how to stay creative in this crazy, crazy time that we're in right now on this episode of Casting Actors Cast. Welcome to Casting Actors Cast. It's the podcast for actors in the business of show. Here is your host, Jeffrey Dreisbeck. Well, hello and welcome to this episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm Casting Director Jeffrey Dreisbach. Welcome to this very, very special episode of Casting Actors Cast. As of this recording, uh, we are experiencing this tremendous, uh, amazing, bizarre uh, coronavirus outbreak throughout the entire world and throughout the United States. And uh, it's really changed a lot of things that are going on out there. But one thing I really wanted to do is and that is to stay very, very consistent and very, very positive and try to be as upbeat as I possibly can about the things that we're going through. Uh, if you're anything like What's going on here in New York City, we're all sort of pretty much on lockdown, self-imposed lockdown, trying to stave off the uh, virus and, and its ability to connect to people and really do some damage out there. So we're doing everything that we can. I can tell you that at McCorkle Casting, we are doing... Um, uh, Skyping. We are also receiving all kinds of auditions via uh, eco cast as well as requesting self submit video auditions from actors which is working out fairly well with us right now our entire staff is meeting via Skype um, on twice a day and it's trying to stay up to date trying to stay as upbeat as possible with what's going on out there but I thought this would be an excellent time to talk to you about some of the changes we're implementing and also give you some support some ideas some things to help you stay creative and stay on the current uh, cutting edge of what the future might hold as far as actors in the business of show so we're going to talk about some of those things but first this is that moment in the podcast where I want to just thank you very much for tuning in I really would hope that you would reach out to your fellow actors. Let them know about Casting Actors Cast. We have a ton of past episodes that I would really love for you to spend some time, since you have maybe a little extra time now, to listen to some of those previous podcasts, because I think they're still very, very informative, and I think that they're still quite helpful. But I also uh, would like to thank you for just taking the time to write a review, to give me a thumbs up, all of those things can make a really big difference. And now that you're more or less a captive audience member, <laughs> hopefully you'll find some information today very specifically for you that you can use. I would only hope that you would connect with me via the website, either castingactorscast.com. There's a place where you can fill out a form and make any kind of comment that you like. Or castingactorscast, all one word, at gmail.com. And that's a direct email link to me that I get uh, all the time. And I'm happy to respond to any questions, problems, or concerns that you might have. Perhaps you have some questions that I can address over the podcast. So we can kind of coalesce this community and be forward thinking about uh, opportunities and situations that we find ourselves in during this incredibly unbelievable crisis that we are currently enduring. But I want to give a positive message to you as well that there's a lot of support out there and I'm really excited to announce that I am going to be doing and um, presenting a couple of concepts that I'd like you to pay particular attention to and one is I've been in contact with Actors Connection in New York, and they're a fantastic organization. They bring in casting directors, agents, uh, professionals in the industry that come and help their students out with individual classes and seminars. Um, and Actors Connection is a really great place for you to make a connection. Um, in particular, I wanted to announce that on April 7th, 
at 3 p.m. I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on self-taping. Now, as you probably know, there's no tape involved. <laughs> People still say self-taping, and it's always kind of strange to me because it's all digital. But I'm going to give a brief lecture about how to do the best self-taping. Uh, and then we're going to take some question and answers from you out there via their website. So that is Actors Connection. Um, and if you just Google Actors Connection New York City, you're going to see the Actors Connection NYC and go there and you can find out about these free, totally free, absolutely free seminars uh, that they're providing for any of their members. And I'm sure that you could sign up um, again. It's all free. So uh, I'm donating my time as I donate my time for these podcasts only to try and keep the community together, uh, keep our spirits buoyant as we trudge forth into the future, whatever that might be. Again, that's April 7th at 3 p.m. Also, I, I invite you to stay tuned to Casting Actors Cast because I'm going to be making an announcement about doing a live podcast, and that way we can answer your questions live. Here's the thing, though. I need to hear back from you. If there's a, a, a big enough audience that warrants me being able to sit down and do a live broadcast, then by all means, I'm going to do it. And I just would love to get some feedback from you if this is something that you would be interested in, if this is something that you would feel like you could participate in. Please let me know. Um, frankly, I'm not going to go through the machinations of setting it up and going through it if there are not really that much interest out there. And I understand why there might not be that much interest given the time that we're living in. But if this is something you want to stay current with, if this is something that you would want to kind of bring a community spirit together and having a live podcast, then I am happy to make that happen. And I be, I'll be sending out announcements. And in uh, my next podcast, I'll probably give you the specific details of that. But again, I, I really need to hear from you. Finally, if you do go to the website castingactorscast.com and you fill out the form Dive Into the Talent Pool, you'll have access to a free downloadable PDF of my book about voiceover work called The Conversation Pieces Out of the Studio, The Voiceover Workshop for Professional Actors. It's a 100-page book. It's absolutely free of charge. All you need to do is just fill out the form and then you can download that book. It's a hundred pages. You can use it on your reader or you could print it out. Anything that you want to do with that book, but it's all about actors going into the world of voiceover work. That's something that I did really well when I first started as an actor here in New York. And so I'm sort of giving back, uh, to the community absolutely free. All I like is to have your email address. Again, I don't do anything with that information, by the way. Um, I keep that with me and uh, it just lets me know that you are out there and keeps me motivated for doing these podcasts. I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm perfectly calm. <laughs> That's in honor of Stephen Sondheim's 90th birthday. Of course, that is from the musical A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, and I think this is a really appropriate title <laughs> given the time and the place that we're in. And I think many of us are finding ourselves with a lot of extra time on our hands, and there, of course there's that sense of isolation that we sometimes put ourselves in when we're in this kind of bizarre time. And I want to just address that. I want to address what you can do as an actor to keep yourself fresh, to keep yourself focused, feeling creative, feeling positive, because we are going to all get through this. I know that that's going to be the case. We're going to come out the other side of this. Okay, so we don't know exactly how long that's going to be, but the more that you can stay focused and, and vent that creative side, because you are a creative person, I think the better off you're going to be. So I came up with a list of ideas that I think might be really, really helpful for you to work on while you've got the time and while you're alone. First of all, you're really not alone. There's a difference between being alone and being lonely. I insist that you do everything that you can to not be lonely. But being alone means that there are all kinds of alternative things for you to do out there that I'd like you to suggest you, if you haven't done so already, you consider as we start moving forth through getting through this virus. Through getting through this virus. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> um, let's first of all talk about social media. I know social media has a huge impact on the acting community, and that is fantastic. Fantastic. 
That's really great. So I want to encourage you to continue to make those contacts. But I don't know if you um, have actually given a lot of thought or consideration to doing more remote learning. There are all kinds of classes out there. There are acting classes now being provided. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, I'm doing these seminars about self-taping. And there are all kinds of ways in which you can connect with two or more people. Um, uh, everybody at McCorkle Casting, for example, is we are using uh, Google Meeting, um, Google Hangouts, Google Meet, uh, to get together. And we're getting together on a regular basis every day, at least twice, to go through all of the things that we need to do to maintain our casting business. And we are sending out all kinds of uh, requests for self-taping things. But I was also thinking this would be a great opportunity for you to get together with your fellow actors. Maybe, if you haven't thought of this, maybe it'd be a good idea to set up a regular scheduled time to read some plays together. There's really no reason why with our technology the way it is that you can't connect with somebody and have a, a regular scheduled meeting, reading new plays, reading new material, perhaps a discussion group about something that's playing on Netflix or HBO or any of the myriad <laughs> shows that are, are running out there. You might want to get together and have a regularly scheduled time to meet with each other online. Maintaining that social sense and that community with each other, I think, is really imperative to kind of maintain our sanity, to know that there are other people out there that we're going through the same thing together, but also staying focused on the things that can help you as an actor. So maintaining social media is one thing, but now taking that a step further, try to effectuate, ooh, good word, where did that come from, some uh, other ideas for staying connected with each other as an actor. So that's very, very specific. Now, I mentioned this a couple of times, and I just wanted to reiterate, this is the perfect time for you to perfect your ability to self-tape. Setting up your equipment, setting up the proper sound and lighting, all of those things that are really, really important, because you know why? Not only is that good for you to do now, but I promise you, after this virus runs its course, it's my opinion, it's my view that using your technique for self-taping now is going to go well into the future. That this might actually change the dynamics about auditioning completely. So this is a perfect time for you to perfect your self-auditioning technique. Now, I don't want to spend a ton of time talking about self-taping or digital video auditions, only because, A, I have a really great podcast from a previous episodes. If you go back into the archives, go to podbean.com if you want. Um, go to Casting Actors Cast, type in Casting Actors Cast, and you'll see all of the previous episodes. Also on my website, but you have to dig a little bit further to go back into the archives a little bit. But there's a really, I think, an excellent two-parter on self-taping your auditions that I did about a year ago, and it still applies. And it's based on the many, many classes that I've set up uh, and done in the past. So I encourage you. Keep yourself busy by setting up your self-tape system. There are all kinds of things I'm seeing currently on the submissions that we're now getting. And as I said, this is only going to be enhanced and be requested more and more into the future. So why not be ready for that? This is an also, I think, a really great time for you to consider getting your business organized. I've said thousands of times, you are the CEO of your own company, so why not? Make this an opportunity to really focus and concentrate on your organization. I would have separate folders on my computer. The folders that I would have would be my marketing strategy, my uh, picture and resume uh, scenario, for lack of a better way to say it. Uh, just making sure, are you due for some new pictures? When is that going to be kicking in? How are you marketing yourself now? Because clearly you're going to be marketing yourself slightly differently online now than you do in person. So what does that mean? Is your resume up to date? 
you know, freshening up a resume, giving me all of your social media information, giving me all of the information on your resume now, uh, freshening it up. Uh, please don't use a resume that you've used six months ago. It's time for our new resume. I don't mean new credits, <laughs> but I do mean a new way of organizing your resume. Give yourself an opportunity to do a reboot on what you are sending out to others in the business for job opportunities. It's really critical that you take a look at, with fresh eyes because with this new time and this new age that we are living in, I suspect that more information is going to be better than less. And so looking at your resume for those specific things that might help you would be a really great idea to do that now. Also, uh, your imaging, you know, the way you're presenting your materials. Uh, I know people object to me using the word your branding, but this is a great time to really take a look at what of those areas of the business that you're interested in going in. How do the materials that you currently have work for that optimum goal of yours? So do take a look at that as well. And then finally, of course, your website. If you don't have a website, this is a fantastic time to put together one of those free websites. You don't have to spend any money on it, but you can really put together a nice comprehensive package in the form of a website that will help get your message out there about the kind of acting work you're interested in doing. Next on my list, of course, you know, you're going to hate this. I, know, <laughs> I mean, I know you're going to hate this, but you got to exercise. Now, from what I understand, this uh, virus is not transmitted through the air, that it ends landing up on doorknobs and on um, non-porous structures and stays alive for at least a 24 to 48 hour period of time. And that means that you can go outside as long as you're not in contact with other people. But do yourself a favor. Don't get bogged down into the couch potato routine. I'm telling you, it can really do a number on you. Get out of the house. Do some power walking. Put on some music on your headset. Get outside if you can. Um, and really um, experience some physical activity. That's going to help you both your mind and your body. It's also going to release a lot of endorphins, so you'll feel less stressed about all of the things that we're having to deal with right now. And so please consider doing um, some physical exercise. Getting yourself out there, I promise you, has benefits that will last a long, long time. It's one of those things that's like hard to get into the habit of doing those discipline things. I know. Um, we keep telling ourselves all kinds of different reasons not to do something. Um, this is a really great day to embrace some new uh, habits that are going to ultimately help you feel better and look better. If you feel better, you're going to live better. There's no question about that. Oh, there are some phones ringing. I'm just going to let it go. All right, so now let's move on to the next item on my list of things for you to consider. Maybe you're taking notes or maybe you're going to play this back again. But here's the other thing that is a perfect time for you to do some additional research. So what television shows or movies have been shot in your area? If you're from New York, you can find out that list really easy. That's a Google list. If you're in Los Angeles, you can do the same thing. What shows are taping or have taped recently? Watch those shows. Watch the style of acting. Take a note about who the casting director is on those shows. Because you know what? When this is all kind of waning and people are starting to get their lives back together again, you can bet your bottom dollar that these shows are going to go back into production. And so you will find yourself in a much better place if you've done this initial research to find that information out. So researching some movies, some television shows, um, and these are things that are shooting in your area. Now, if you're listening from another part of the world, that say, still applies. What popular television shows from your country of origin are shooting in your area? If there aren't many, then maybe it's a time that you 
kind of branch out. What further big cities are you close to that might have a shooting schedule of television shows and movies that have taken place recently? Now, from my understanding, almost all production has shut down for both movies, television, and I know since Broadway shut down last week, that's what sort of turned the corner for New York. But that doesn't mean that things aren't going to be picking up rather quickly once we get through this, and we will. So that becomes a great moment. It's a pause for us to do and invest in research, finding out who the casting directors are, who the production companies are, what things are going to be getting back into the swing of things once this virus goes away. Um, that's the kind of work and the kind of research that you can make it a project for yourself. And I think that can be ultimately not only healthy for you mentally and emotionally, but it'll really keep you well prepared for when this moves on. And it, like I said, and it will. Finally, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, keeping a journal, keeping a journal of what you're going through. I think writing down a stream of consciousness, don't think too much about what you're writing, but get a fresh piece of paper every day and just write down what's going on with you. It'll really help you a lot. Journaling is one of those things that, you, unless you've done it, um, you really have no idea how beneficial journaling can be in terms of your own physical self, your emotional self, your mental self. And this will be a great way to help you get focused, stay organized, and put yourself in the best possible place when this horrible coronavirus departs and dissipates, we want you to be absolutely ready to get back into the swing of things. So keep singing, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm perfectly calm. And think about those things I've suggested. And I look forward for you to be tuning in and listening to some of these open uh, live podcasts I'll be doing. But also, there are several schools in addition to Actors Connection that will be participating in these open class environments. And so therefore, I'm really excited that you joined us. Please share this with me and your friends, especially other actors who might benefit from this. It means a lot to me that you're there. Thanks so much. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach, and this is Casting Actors Cast. Casting Actors Cast is made possible with your support just by listening. Please like, share, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.